Monster Forge here, and I just wanted to show you uh, something I found the other day at the thrift store. This is a book called Mommy. It's a really creepy book called Mommy. Um, this was, and it's a thick book too. Um, it's a book uh, with art by Maurice Sendak, you know, of Where the Wild Things Are. Scenario by Arthur Yorinks. Don't know who he is. Paper Engineering by Matthew Reinhardt. Um, published by Scholastic. Uh, and this is in 2006. And this is a first edition of this book. I had never heard of this thing before. But I saw it as we were going through the thrift store. I saw it sitting there. And I didn't realize it was a book. Because it's like it looks like a big box. And I saw it and immediately picked it up. Because it just looks so weird. And then opened up the first page, and it's like, wow. I mean, it is a very, very, very well done pop-up book. A pop-out, pop-up, whichever one you want to call it. But there's so many layers to this thing. And, and the guy who engineered it, this um, um, Matthew Reinhardt, he's amazing. It's what he could get. But the story is basically the little boy is looking for his mommy and he tries in all different places and each one of the pages has an additional leaf here that when you pull it out one of the characters in the story come out in this case it would be like you know like dr frankenstein or just a mad scientist or whatever and if you notice in the background there's a, a little nosferatu guy pops up out of the chimney um but, and this one's kind of bent, which is, you know, it happens sometimes with these fold-out books. They don't quite fold all the way correctly. But still, I mean, that's amazing. You just have to kind of be kind of careful. Uh, these things tab in in the corners here. So he, he goes to the, <clears throat> he goes to the mad scientist looking for mommy. <laughs> Hands. Um... And just so many little details going on in this thing. It's amazing. Um, and as, as you move the page, the eyes on the the mummy back here move around too. So, um, And then he goes mommy to Nosferatu. And, um, you know, I, I love how the kid just woo, he reels back whenever Nosferatu pops up. And he's got all these crazy bats around him and everything. Which is really cool. Um, uh, but here, he's he's uh, approaching the, the giant skeleton of the bat. And when you pull this out, he's, uh, he's giving his pacifier to Nosferatu. And Nosferatu's nodding off. He's like, with a little Frankenstein in the background. So once again, he has not found his mommy. He's found another monster. Which this kid doesn't seem to be bothered at all by monsters. Which is cool. He's a, he's a cool kid. Um, and then, oh, here's Frankenstein. So there's like a, there's a little, a little illusion. Uh, a little illusion on each page to what the next critter is going to be. So, once again, I asked Mommy. And Frankenstein's just freaking out. Ooh, you know, like he's going nuts. Um... Once again, the engineering is incredible, and all the little details in the background, like the the baby Frankenstein. Let me see if I can get this to not be quite so washed out. Okay, um, mommy, and oh, check out the little the little homunculus guy in there. Oh, another one there, cool. Um, but this one, he's he's um. Oh, he, he took the bolts out of Frankenstein's, or Frankenstein's monster, I know. We just call him Frank anyway. And you can see his head springing out there. I don't know if there's an allusion to the next monster or not, because I can't remember. Um, but anyway, um, on to the next page, and here we go with the mummy. Um, <laughs> A lot of stuff going on there. It looks like the... Um, the Phantom of the Opera in the background there. But that's cool. Like he's coming out of his sarcophagus. And he's really like, the little kid's like, Rah, mommy. 
And this is kind of from the cover where he's touching the mummy's face. Um, oh, bring this down a little bit. Um, but this is really cool. Like as you move it, the mummy gets wrapped up because the little boy's pulling on the um, he's pulling on the bandages there. It's really cool. I, is, this a book is amazing. Is that well boobs anyway um there, there's like you'll you'll find little details on each page that's just amazing um and then oh it's the i wish i could do this where you can actually see everything um the wolf man he's he's looking up and the wolf band is coming up the wolf band's coming up out of here and his ears are kind of 3d and the nose is too so he's got a chain and he's pulling up and there's like a troll or something coming up out of there um so once again he's pointing and asking for if are you my mommy and uh right here we've got he pulls the wolf man's pants down and the little goblin from the from the well is getting a good laugh mommy like no that's not a mommy yeah. but really really cute um once again incredible engineering in this book and then oh it's all of the monsters from the book so far um you know the phantom of the opera nosferatu with the pacifier the the mummy um the goblin in the background there and the wolf man and frankenstein's monster um but right here you'll see if you if you pull it out the the little guy comes running over and mommy and she says baby and it's the it's the bride of frankenstein and she stands up and looks down at the little guy and it's just adorable um She's hooked up to the chair and everything. But just an amazing, amazing little pop-out or pop-up or whatever you want to call it book that I picked up at the thrift store. And for the low, low price of a uh, dollar and 29 cents, um, check out your thrift stores. Uh, you can find incredible stuff there. And this is one of those incredible things so all the guys involved in this Mari Sendak, Arthur Yorinks and Matthew Reinhardt they should be really proud of themselves because this is an incredible book excuse me for the old it's an incredible book and I can't think of a kid that wouldn't love to see this so hope you enjoyed this look at mommy um and I'll catch you next time Monster Forge out